Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Coinbase Smart Buys. I'm Valens. We're going to be looking at a specific game against NIP a few months ago during the Blast Premier Spring Final, and specifically how when a team should be forced buying versus half buying, and how that impacts the economy of the game moving forward. The difference between these two things are when you force, you actually invest all of your money or most of your money into this round. Even if that means you don't have the rifles or the requisite armor utility that you normally would have in a full buy. In a half buy situation, you have some money left over, usually about half of your amount, which is why it's called a half buy. This is round two against NIP. EG has lost the pistol round. Most teams will buy into this round and force completely. The reason this is called a force buy again, guys, is that you can see most of the economy and money in the bank for the EG players are about zero. This is something that's very common on second round of CT Dust 2. You can usually buy one or two scouts. Here we see Cirque with the scout. He's taking these long range battles. You can pretty much go A with the scout. You can go B. There's so many long range battles you can take. What I really like about this round, we have Stanislaw with an MP9 playing a close range quarters. We also have Mihu and Obo playing close to mid with these deagles. Even though EG loses this round, these positions Additional plays and also Cirque sticking with his team at middle where he can tag NIP players. You do 70 plus damage with one shot of the scout, which means they become one hittable with the deagles that the EG players had around Cirque. So this is why this was a smart force fight. It didn't necessarily work out for this round. The important thing is, is that forcing into this round can hurt the opponent's economy. And this is definitely the right play so badly. Redemption time for EG if possible. Obo gets one, Mew gets another. This is the first full buy against full buy we're gonna see in this half. And in this two versus four situation, you'll see Stanislaw and Cirque decide that it's not worth going for and they've pretty much made the decision to save already. If you check out the round loss bonus, EG as at, is at max round loss with $3,400 coming into their pockets. What we'll see is that next round will be an important decision that needs to be made. EG's remaining three players that did not survive this round, should they force uh, around these two weapons that do get saved or should they half buy? Both are viable, but EG goes and opts for a half buy around these two saved weapons. And let's talk a little bit about why this, in this situation, a half buy made more sense than a force buy. If you look at the round loss bonus, again, EG, whether or not they win or lose this round, will get max loss bonus going into the next round again. What'll happen is that because we have Stanislaw and Cirque with viable weapons, we can still have a good chance to win this round with these upgraded pistols. What we'll see here as actually a well-timed push by Breezy into upper B. Just He just gets barely by LNZ and he flanks Rez and Plopski at lower B, where suddenly EG is in a four versus three situation and we've only half bought into this round. And we still have Stanislaw and Surik's weapons up in the round. So we're in a really good position now to win this round. And even if we die and lose this round, we can still afford a full by going into the next round. Now up close, V device gets the headshot, anticipates the cap peak. That's perfect from Stan. And he could even close with all three. Uh -oh. This is round 14. We've flipped through a bunch of rounds. A lot of the rounds, I should say, that NIP has won has been relatively close. What this kind of means is that EG in this round had a very difficult decision to make. Generally, if you're reaching the end of the half, EG can decide should they save one more round to have an op and everything they wanted in terms of utility going into that final 15th round or should you force up in this round you see Stanislaw has a FAMAS on the left here Breezy's about to buy he gets a Colt and less utility no op on Sir. EG made the conscious decision giving up any more rounds on the CT side of Dust2 is not good enough and what we'll see is this decision pays off really well for EG and they win this round going into the last round of the half this is an example of when force buying suddenly becomes more viable than saving or half buying again. So this was the opposite decision on round 14 compared to round five, where EG opted to go for the force buy instead of the half buy. EG just had a combination of confidence, the flow of the game told them that they can hold off this CT round against NIP's full buy without having everything they needed. And it's just they needed more rounds to work with going into their T side. That combination approach is what led EG to buy into this round fully forcing up and it paid off which now if you look at the two buys we're suddenly in a full buy versus full buy situation of course fortunately enough eg pulls this round out relatively convincingly 
And that gamble on round 14 with the four spot led into an extra two rounds and EG ending this half seven, eight. And it again, goes to show you guys why you really have to think about the flow of the game, but also some traditional four spy rounds like that round two. If you feel comfortable playing these rounds out against full buys with less than perfect utility and, and rifles, that all comes in the picture at a professional level. And we saw some great examples of that here today. The big boy Obo playing off the Humvee is ready for the double peak. Absolutely is. Thanks guys for checking out another episode of Coinbase Smart Buys. Today we checked out how EG kept things close against NIP on that CT side of Dust2 with some critical force buys and critical half buys and knowing what to do one over the other. It paid dividends for EG, just like Coinbase can do for you. Check them out, check out their app, it's super easy to use. We'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys continue to enjoy the content around CSGO and peace out.